Your Excellency, Dr. Goodluck Ebele Jonathan, UCFR, President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, may I please, for want of time, identify with already existing protocol. Your Excellency, sir, it is with overflowing joy and excitement that the family of your Ministry of Power and our partners welcome you to yet another milestone achievement in your transformation agenda. We are especially grateful to your Excellency for choosing to flag up the project Operation Light of Rural Nigeria as a first flag off and commissioning of all the mature and maturing projects that your transformation agenda and people-oriented government programs are delivering to Nigerians across the length and breadth of our great country, Nigeria. Your Excellency, within the context of your transformation agenda, Operation Light of Rural Nigeria was conceived as a fast-track mechanism to deliver electricity to thousands of rural communities in Nigeria that are not yet connected to the national electricity grid and also to those communities so far flung from the national grid that the challenges of delivering electricity to them will remain daunting for quite a while. The project is anchored on the de deployment of renewable energy and the principles of energy efficiency and conservation to deliver high quality lighting systems to every household and with street lights to every community covered by the program. Each covered community will have the following benefits. A community energy hub equipped with enough power outlets for charging of electronic devices and refrigeration of perishables. Every house is furnished with several energy saving bulbs of the light emitting diode spaces as well as charging points for electronic devices and energy saving fans. The surrounding of every household is well lit. Streets and pathway lights cover the entire community so that there are no dark corners in the community. The community center is well lit to enhance social, culture, cultural and economic activities. The schools are well lit and equipped with charging points for computers and other electronic devices and to allow for off-school hours, adult education and literacy classes for those who desire to improve their knowledge and skills after school hours. A maintenance crew is trained to maintain the facilities. The job creation and business growth potential for these are enormous for the entire country. The, cons the conceived sources of energy for the entire project are solar, wind, and biomass. The first stage, which is the pilot stage, intends to utilize 100% solar energy to power hundreds of communities. This is what Your Excellency has seen at Shape and will now be formally launching and inaugurating here at Durumi. The second phase will incorporate wind energy as an integrated solution as soon as our research on the meteorological and technical specifications beside these demographic considerations are completed. The final stage will include biomass as energy source. Today's event, Your Excellency, is a novel initiative of the Federal Ministry of Power in line with your transformation agenda and in which we in intend to provide a practical, affordable and realistic access to electricity to a majority of our people living in the rural areas. This initiative takes advantage of the fact that Nigeria is blessed with abundant natural resources, the service, wind, solar, dams, tidal waves, etc. It takes advantage of the work of the Millennium Development Goals Office on mapping our national 
natural renewable energy resources to provide access to electricity to a vast majority of our rural dwellers via solar and wind or biomass powered lighting system. The implementation of this initiative is based on energy efficient lighting systems comprising photosensitive top of the line light emitting diode lighting systems and energy hubs powered by biomass, individual solar homes, and or mini solar or wind technologies. Mr. President, sir, we intend to invite the private sector to fully participate and eventually take over the entire operations to ensure that saturation is attained quickly and that no community is left behind in Nigeria. We are working on devising a socio-economic legal framework that will create an enabling environment for the project while ensuring that cost-reflective tariffs are charged to ensure sustainability and rapid deployment of the technology throughout Nigeria. Very soon, Your Excellency, we will be furnishing you with a draft national renewable energy stroke energy conservation policy for your approval. I am glad to report that already Kogi State Government and a few other governments have already keyed into the program and project site of identification and development is expected to commence soon and by Kogi, in Kogi State with the support of the governor. We also would like to thank our development partners, especially for this project. And these are Schneider Electric of France and Philips Electronic of the Netherlands. We also wish to thank the World Bank, African Development Bank, French Development Bank, EFID, NIAF, to mention just a few of our development partners. Finally, Mr. President, I wish to inform you that we are using two models in your Operation Light of Rural Nigeria program. I call it your own, Your Excellency, because you gave us the matching orders. And we are doing exactly what you asked us to do. So this is your program, Mr. President. The first is what you see here at Durumi, which is essentially a detached system where each household has its own solar panel that power it, and inverter system. For this Durumi project, we have partnered mostly with Schneider Electric and also of France and also with Philips Electronic of the Netherlands to deliver electricity to over 1,000 households in Durumi. The project is coordinated by my senior special assistant on access to power, Dr. Albert Okorogo. The second model is a localized mini grid system where the community energy hub uses solar inverter systems to power the entire community, providing more energy for every home for such facilities as fans, television sets, computers, sound systems, etc. That technology is homegrown and 100% engineered and deployed by Nigerians. The project is designed and supervised and coordinated by engineer Ifai Eze of Lord Ezetek. All these projects are simultaneously being flagged up today by Mr. President. And Mr. President, may I just briefly tell you that the young man you saw, Ashape, was my student 15 years ago in the university, and I saw him working very hard as an innovator. I encouraged him and mentored him, and he's done a lot of innovations in this country. Once again, Mr. President, you are hereby invited to do again what you have been doing all along, empowering Nigerians, alleviating the suffering of the masses, making living conditions better for all, creating jobs all over the country, and now turning our darkness into light. Mr. President, welcome to a new dawn facilitated by Your Excellency and in tandem with your transformation agenda. Thank you, Your Excellency, 
for giving us Happy New Year and a bright new year beginning here at Tulubi. God bless you, sir.